every morning during the week, my routine is kind of the same. I get up um, about 6.30, uh, make me a cup of coffee. Oh, that's good. Um, actually, I didn't make that. That was actually Keurig. On Saturdays, I actually make, maybe Saturday, uh, we'll put up a vlog um, talking about how we make coffee, but I get up, I come to my front porch, I grab my journal, I grab my pen, I grab my Bible, um, and I just read. So for the next few minutes, I'm going off the grid. I will see you back for some more of this today and what goes on kind of uh, throughout the day today. No, no. So I have people all the time ask me, um, so what do you what do you study? What do you use? Um, what kind of things are out there? Um, and I've used a wide variety of tools for my study, my personal study. I'm not talking about study that I do for a sermon. That's completely separate from my personal study, even though they spill over sometimes. Uh, but what I really do is uh, I've used devotionals, I've used books, I've used all sorts of things. Right now I'm in this season where um, I'm using reading plans on version. And uh, if you don't have the Bible app on your phone, just go download the Bible app and they've got hundreds, I mean hundreds of reading plans. And honestly, real simply, it just gives me a thought, gives me a scripture, and then I journal my prayers out. Every morning I write down a prayer. Um, some days it has to do with family, some days it has to do with leadership, some days it has to do with our church, the lost. Um, there's a focus every day that I have. Um, and then I just simply write down the scripture, I read the scripture, I underline scriptures that speak to my heart, um, and then I, I actually just kind of let myself marinate over those and write down some thoughts. So just about every morning, um, my wife Laura, she gets up, uh, about 6.30, she goes for a walk. I go to the front porch. Um, while I'm getting ready, before she goes for a walk, she does these little things right here, these little delectable kind of breakfast healthy things, which looks to be like an oatmeal muffin of some sort. Um, now, typically, I would hang around and eat that. Today, uh, I'm gonna go get me a protein shake and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be good with that because today I also start my buddy Carlos Whitaker's Fit by Fourth. I've done all of his Fit Buys in the last year. Um, unfortunately, it's closed so you can't get in, but the next time he offers it, you ought to check it out. Great way to lean out, get healthy, um, and get more refreshed in life. Um, so I'm headed to Lifetime. I'm headed to get me a protein shake. Uh, I wonder what it is today keeping you healthy. If you're not getting healthy, start getting healthy today. So sometimes I wish I could teleport to the places I want to go. So let's see if I can teleport to Lifetime today. You ready? Here we go. And there. Teleportation's easy. Good morning. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. I'm gonna do um, ultimate protein with chocolate whey. Hey, and uh, peanut butter and banana, please. And I think I got a free one today. Yes, you do. So every morning, same drink. Peanut butter, banana. Chocolate whey protein. Breakfast of champions. So typical day in the office, come in. Um, this morning, had a couple meetings with a couple staff members, uh, Dale Reeves, Alan Baumline, our executive pastor. We just kind of get together right in here, um, kind of talk about uh, some initiatives we've got going on. Like this weekend, we've got Build the Walls. So Raymond, our missions guy, was in here. We talked a little bit about where we're at for volunteers, which by the way, if you're not signed up for Build the Walls, um, come out this Saturday, help us. Uh, registration starts at 7.30, building starts at nine. There's breakfast, come hang out with us for that. Then I just kind of spend the morning, I'm working through some emails right 
right now. I'm actually working through the first pass of my sermon. Um, and so I do a run through on Thursday mornings of that um, and just try to really um, spend the rest of the day on Thursday. Once I get through the morning, uh, I spend the time just really kind of walking around, loving on staff, uh, have a few meetings with people in the church. Um, and then tonight, typically we have our tribe on Thursday nights, but tonight I'm going to go to my boy PJ's house and uh, you'll get to see some of that footage here later today as well. So today I think I'm going to take you around and introduce you to some of our staff today. All right, so I'm going to go bug Alan in his office right now. Um, he's, uh, I don't know what Alan's really doing, but he's, he's got a stick. He might actually beat me. Um, hey, Alan, real quick, tell everybody what your role is here, what you do. Um, executive pastor, right? I'm executive pastor, kind of implement the vision uh, cast by you and the rest of the leadership. And then makes it all go down. I make it happen. You're the operations Best guy. And uh, you speak softly and, and apparently okay. carries a... Big stick. big stick. Uh, that <laughs> scares all of us, actually. We call him the Hulk, and he's wearing green today. That should tell you something. This is Susan. Susan is taking care of the building. Hey, Susan. Hey, I'm doing a little uh, staff feature today. Hey, Hi. Susan, tell everybody what you do here at CCM. A little bit of everything. She makes this place look phenomenal. As you can see right now, she's actually vacuuming. Um, I don't even like to vacuum at home and you vacuum here. <laughs> so uh, that's Susan. Susan makes everything look awesome around here. So if you see Susan, love on Susan. She needs it, as do all of us, and she loves on all of us. Hey, this is uh, Jake Niven. Jake, what do you do here? I'm middle school pastor. Middle school, that's yep. what he does. Um, so who, who you got with you, man? Introduce my, everybody. My buddy Kyle Norbloom. Uh, all right. And this is dad, Kirk. Yeah, um, Kirk's on our security team, by the way. Um, he keeps all of you safe, uh, mostly your kids. Uh, mostly he watches Jeff Chase, the other security guy, to make sure that he doesn't do anything stupid. Um, and you just did some cool stuff with this guy. Yeah, we're getting ready to go to Nicaragua next Wednesday. So we are planning right now, getting our last minute stuff together. Tell, tell the story real quick. What happened? How did this go down? We went to CIY last year. Kyle loved uh, the mission they were doing there and felt that um, he wanted to be a part of that. So he raised over $2,500 to uh, build some houses in Nicaragua. So we're leaving and also playing baseball next week. And how old are you? Uh, 14. 14. So 14 years old, raised $2,500 to go to Nicaragua and love on some kids. So uh, it's Ryan Smart's first week in the office. and. Uh, Hey, What's up? That's Ryan. Hey, last night you had an event here. We did. How'd it go? You had how many people here last night? Uh, it was a ton. I don't even know. I, um, I think Dale made up a number like 140. That's preacher count. So I there was think it was like... more than that because we set up 84 chairs in the high school and they had to add like three more rows. So, so was that parents, students, all, all, of, all the above. above? Yeah. Um, so. so Ryan's getting acclimated this week. If you're a high school student, have a high school student, no high school student, be here. Um, be here. You want to hang out with this guy? That's right. Um, his office right now is really gray and he's got some really cool guitars on the wall. And the Transformers. Um, you got to you Oh, wait, there. you've got... I got Transformers. Dude, the guy's got Transformers. Um, that's... There, there's Bumblebee. That does not look like Shia LaBeouf at all. Um, he's a oh, head. he's a bobblehead Transformer. <laughs> bobblehead Bumblebee Transformer. That's right. Um, that's, uh, that's ridiculous. So, you, you like being here? I love being here. Uh, life, Fantastic Life's place. going good so far? Yeah, except not having my family. But other yeah, than that. Three days in and uh, he loves a place. Yeah, um, it's give phenomenal. Him, give him a week. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so... <laughs> Dude, thanks for being here. I'm glad you're in. Thank you. Let's go, let's go meet Minnie. Let's go, uh, let's go see, because she makes this whole department really run. She makes um, it all happen right here. Th this is Minnie Clements. She has to put up with Brad and me on a regular basis, and sometimes Allison. Sometimes. So, definitely sometimes Allison. Allison, you're not here this week, so by default, we just threw you under the bus. Um, Minnie makes everything kind of go down for these guys in she here. She makes it happen. Um, she makes you guys look a whole lot better once you really are, right? It's true. Uh, see, she even knows that. She, <laughs> she, she knows that. So there you have it. Out of it all. We even have a theme them. song. What's your theme song? Mini Gains is in my ears and in my eyes. Right here, Mini Gains. <laughs> here go. Do you remember? Games and games in September. We're going to prize, yeah. So uh, it's 
middle of the day, off to lunch with our staff. I think we're gonna do Red Robin with our new high school guy. Uh, Ryan, I love the camaraderie that comes when we can just get around a table with each other and we can do some life together. And then come back this afternoon, uh, wrap up some emails, wrap up some message prep stuff, do some study for next week's message. Um, and then really just kind of get ready for the weekend with my family, start prepping there and get ready for Sunday. Um, if you are seeing this and you do not have plans to come to CCM this Sunday, make your plans to get here because we're gonna start um, this weekend by talking about about, um, the things that we are scared of, the fears that we have. One of the best ways to sabotage Satan is to sabotage the fear that he puts inside our hearts. So uh, more to come today. I'm going to my boy PJ's house tonight. You're going to see us shoot some guns and probably blow some stuff up, um, which is always kind of fun. So I'm on my way to Buddy PJ's house. Uh, to shoot some stuff, some guns, uh, some dirt, a clawed hill. Uh, PJ's house is one of my favorite places on the planet. It's so peaceful, it's so quiet. It really is a refuge, and I uh, can't wait to show you around in just a few moments. So I'm out at PJ's house, and the we're firing down the line. You can see the water. there's PJ right there. There's Amy, she's getting after it right now. That's right. She's a firing machine. This is what we do at Peter's house. We fire guns and blow stuff up. Thursday night, Trevor on the firing line. And beautiful. Look at how nice his tats. Smoking hot. That's awesome. That's very hot. Yeah. 